Well, I have the Subaru, it's outside, and I let it idle for about 10 minutes, and it got real hot, like 230 degrees before I shut it off. So now I'm monitoring the temperature. I'm waiting for it to cool off before we can bring it in the garage. It's gonna give me enough time to give you the story on this thing. So he's obviously got an overheating issue, took it to a mechanic, and they said, well, it's a Subaru, it's gonna be a head gasket. And they gave him a really, really expensive quote to put head gaskets on that engine. So he brought it over here and he said, can you help? And I said, sure, but let me test those head gaskets. Let me test the engine to see if head gaskets are your issue. So I got this here. It's a combustion leak tester. It just has a little chemical fluid in there. It's blue right now. We're gonna put that on the radiator and see if combustion gases are getting into the cooling system and we can read it through here. This is just changed to yellow if it came into contact with combustion gases. So that'll be an easy test, doesn't take much, and before we do any kind of big service to this engine, let's make sure it needs it. Okay, so we passed that block test. Head gasket should be fine. We're gonna go straight for the thermostat and test that next. I think that's what the problem's gonna be. Let me set you up. So I'll tell you what I did. I had the car running for about 10 minutes. It got really hot. I checked the upper radiator hose and that thing was smoking hot. This one down here was ice cold. So this right here goes straight to the thermostat. Let's go ahead and pull this out. Now I'm gonna drain the coolant out of the radiator. So let's go over here. This is one of them fancy Mishimoto radiators. So it looks like we got a drain right here. You'll have a drain cock on your plastic radiator somewhere in the same area. Yeah, let it be a 24. Oh yeah, that's the biggest 3 eighths I got. A little bit of overkill, but let's go ahead and drain this thing. I'll grab a bucket. Back this thing loose. Um, huh, not even tight. I don't know much about these things, but it should be more than just finger tight, shouldn't it? Maybe, I don't know. I guess if it wasn't leaking, that's good enough. It's got a fast drain on it, so that's pretty cool. Your pet cock valve on your standard uh, OE Subaru radiator, it's not gonna go that fast, so that's, I guess, one cool thing. All right, plugs back in. We've got some go fast parts up here. I don't even wanna touch those. Let's just do this as easy as possible. I'm gonna take that housing right it's off. It's got two 10 millimeters. One kind of at the two o'clock here at the top. Let's get on that. Okay. And the bottom one is right here. Get that crack loose. Let's see what we got. All right, it nearly all made it in the bucket. The rest of it will be cleaned up in accordance with EPA regulations. Let's see how much of this coolant gushes out of here. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so here's what we got. I went ahead and cut this thermostat up carefully to get the guts out of it. Now the guts, I think, is what was causing the problem. So I'm gonna reinstall it with this gasket so it doesn't leak, and we'll see if we solve the problem. If so, it was bad and we need a new one. If not, well, we gotta dig a little bit deeper. But I have my suspicions here that this is gonna solve this problem. Let's get it back up into the car. Okay, here's the test piece. It's just got the gasket on there so it doesn't leak. Let's go ahead and put it up in here, right inside that housing, and then we'll bolt this back on. It's been running a while now. I've got it at 203 degrees. It's pretty stable. Let's go check out these hoses up top here. That upper hose, you're looking at 150, 160 degrees, depending on where I aim it. And the bottom hose, same thing. Here. 
and the temperature just dropped a little bit. Let me see if the fans have come on yet. Getting our temperature to regulate right where it needs to be, just below 200 degrees. So that's going to be a fix, but we need the thermostat in there so it can regulate temperature and get the engine warmed up when it needs to. I think that test proves that the thermostat was bad. So while it was cooling down, I went ahead and went to Subaru, got a new thermostat. Let's go ahead and pop that in there. If you look on the water outlet here, the thermostat housing, no leaks around there, and that's why I cut that thermostat up just so I could use that gasket and not have to worry about that housing. Whoops, leaking like it is right now. All right, there that is. So we'll get this out of here, put the new one back in. All right, this new thermostat, it's from Subaru and it comes, I'll show you, comes with the gasket already installed on it. Let's get that put in there. There it is, a rating of 78C. It's about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. And the jiggle pin that's right up here, you wanna put that facing up in this car. That way it'll bleed properly. Just gonna put a drop or two of that coolant onto the gasket. It's a good lubricant, keep it from having problems as we install it. That jiggle pin is facing 12 o'clock. I'm just gonna push that in to the block Make sure we're not gonna pinch that gasket when we put this outlet housing on there, this thermostat housing on there. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and lower the car. We'll fill it with coolant and then we'll test it out to see if that fixes this problem. Let's go see what the launch says. I've got the coolant temperature right up on the screen here. Let's see. Yes, we've got 185 degrees and that line is rock steady. The thermostat is working just how it should be. But I've got the car idling out there because it is Florida right now. It is about 95 degrees, so I don't want to be out there. It's super hot. So I'm going to go out there, shut off the car, call the owner. He's going to be super happy, and I'm going inside where it's air conditioned. Now, if you want to see some of the tools that I've been using on this project and every other project, I've got it all in one place. It's at Wrencher.com. No ease, not Wheel of Fortune here, renterwithoutease.com. That'll take you to my Amazon tool store. It'll show you everything that I use and recommend right in one place. Or you can click the link right up there on the top of your screen, that'll take you to it. As far as the next few videos, I'm gonna be doing a transmission out and in on this Subaru. You can get subscribed to watch those, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.